Oh, what's going on guys? Have you ever wanted to own the Mona Lisa? Well, guess what? Now you can with this company called Masterworks.io. This is the Magic Money Channel. I'm Kyle Livingston. Let's jump right in. Welcome back everyone. I put on my suit today for this topic because I was watching a YouTuber that briefly mentioned this website that I found quite interesting and I think you will as well. If you Google uh, in what is the website? Masterworks.io. If you Google Masterworks.io, this website comes up and the first thing it says is invest in the world's most valuable paintings. Very intriguing, especially if you're into uh, finance and investments. It says since 2000, blue chip artwork has outperformed the S&P 500 by over 250% according to art price. Begin investing with as little as a thousand dollars. I'm intrigued. Let's read more. As you flip through the website, there's a lot of Forbes and Tech Week and things you'll see of uh, just articles of people writing about it. Um, but let's take a look at some of the actual paintings. So here's a Claude Monet. Um, I think is the uh, correct determination for it. It's an 1881 painting that they purchased for 8.5 million dollars guys a lot of money but the minimum investment amount is five thousand you're going to find a lot of the artwork on this website requires usually a five to ten thousand dollar investment at those purchase prices because again it's almost a ten million dollar painting it ain't cheap it'd be fun to see where they store these paintings because that's kind of out of your hands as well which was something they mentioned in that small text is like you hope they're insured um, am i paying for the insurance there's a lot of things that i notice aren't really obvious on this website so if you invested a five thousand dollar investment in this painting 10 years ago your shares would be worth an eleven thousand nine hundred and forty six dollars today you would have over doubled your money guys with this marilyn monroe painting but how true is that this is where i got intrigued because i'm like that's great like those in turn those returns are amazing like take my money shovel it in here it is take it all take it all just take my money, please. Shut up and take my money. So I mean, I was I was getting pumped. This was this was cool to me. I love artwork. Um, I love the idea that people can own pieces of things, companies, stocks. All of this stuff intrigues me. So I'm sure it's starting to intrigue you as well. But as we continue to scroll down, guys, this is where I became very concerned. Um, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom, of course, and this is where you get to see the fee structure. And this is where I get a little skittish because they want a one percent management fee per year and they want 20% of the future profits. So that means they're taking, over that 10 year term, roughly 30% of 1% of a year, and then 20% of the profits, profits if you liquidate it in the same year. So I'm just gonna leave it right there for the moment, guys. You can go check out the website if you'd like. I don't wanna spend all day on this. I just wanna show you if I think this is a good investment idea or not, especially if you are into artwork. So like they've done, they've compared um, their growth to the S&P index, guys. So what is the S&P? I'm gonna take VOO. This stands for the Vanguard 500 Index Fund. And essentially, that is the 500 largest companies in the US comprised into one fund you can purchase for one price, guys, instead of having to buy all 500 companies little bits at a time. And essentially, this pays out roughly 9% a year. This is the benchmark for every investment. If you cannot beat this benchmark, you shouldn't be investing or this is where you probably should be putting your money because it is the safest and everybody compares themselves to usually one of these kind of funds. So this fund charges a 0.04% fee a year. And you will also have to pay a commission to buy that stock. If you just have a new uh, account, you might be charged $20. If it's through a bank, if you use like a Robinhood account, it might not cost you anything except for the purchase price. So let's quickly take a look at MW, the Masterworks uh, company here, guys. So their yearly payout is roughly 13.88%. I don't know why they don't state that anywhere on there. They said it was 11, but when you actually divide it out, um, it's a little more, but that might, again, depending on if they actually work in those fees or not. But when I've done this personally, guys, so if you add up 1% a year over 10 years, you're paying them 10% just in fees alone on that investment. And then they're gonna take the 20% profit of whatever you make at the end of that, guys. Um, so if you take the money that they've listed here, which was 11,946, you're gonna get somewhere between, I'm gonna say 90, I kind of made a 9,862 to be a little more exact, but um, I think it's a little less than that. This calculation isn't 100% accurate. I think it would be more between 96 and $9,800. Whereas your Vanguard uh, index over that you know 10 year same term, you'd be paying the 0.05% only, making that 9%. So you'd walk away if you with the same investment. This is again presuming that you're investing five thousand into each of these equally. Over the same ten years, you're going to end up with about ninety-two hundred dollars 
um, after the fees and everything gets taken out. It's more like a three to four hundred dollar difference, guys. Um, and there are much better investments you can make that would pay more than that. This is what bothers me immensely about websites like this is they do not talk too much about this. Um, this is something they always hide. They try and hype you up, build you in, build you in until you find out that they're going to take 30%. Again, this is um, before taxes, okay? This guy here you can put into, uh, if you live in Canada, RSP or a TSFA, or if you're in the US, you're probably looking at like a Roth IRA. And if you put that in there, it's tax free so long as you follow the rules and regulations. You won't have to pay tax on any of this. But depending on how you have to pay taxes, guys, this could get eaten up instantly. Like the taxes alone, if you're paying 20, 30% a capital gain tax, all of a sudden, this looks like you're losing a lot because you're gonna have to cut off at least another 20%, um, which is gonna take you down substantially. So is this that good of an investment? I'm gonna say on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it maybe a five, five to six. This is something that if you are interested in owning art, um, we're gonna say, well, let's just give it a solid five out of 10. That's gonna make it real easy, guys. Um, if you are in interested in investing in art, 100% agree that this might be something for you. If you want to own a piece of history, guys, do your homework, look into it, see how they store this art. I'm sure they are trusted and reliable. They are trying to open up a stock market for these art pieces. They want these art pieces to be liquid and tradable like many other things out there in the world, which to me is super, super fascinating, guys, which is why I took so much interest in this, but I am not willing to trade uh, anything at a 20% uh, structure fee. But if you guys enjoyed this video, remember you can slap a like on it, subscribe. I have like no subscribers, brand new channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you learned something, of course, I wanna know what you would invest into when it comes to art. Do you have any idea? Do you guys buy little maybe cool art pieces or do you do anything? As a magician, if you didn't know, I'm a full-time magician. Um, I used to invest into playing cards. I would buy um, very rare playing cards. I held on to one for 10 years. I recently just sold it um, for almost $300. Uh, I made 100% on my money. So over the 10 year term, I pretty much doubled my money, something similar to this, but I did it more lucratively and privately um, through my own knowledge. Very interesting stuff, guys. I would love to hear what you think in the comment section below. If you want to uh, join the debate, uh, follow me at uh, the Magic Money Debate on uh, Stock Twits as well. If you use any of the forms, I love the investment forms, but stay cool, stay awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys.